Okay, so in this video we're going to go over uh, variables a little bit, and all a variable is is a uh, a space in memory that we're reserving for our own data. Um, if that doesn't make too much sense, that's okay. Um, that'll become more clear kind of as we uh, as we proceed. Um, to make a variable in PHP, you want to start with a dollar sign. Um, every variable is always going to start with a dollar sign. There's a few exceptions to that, which we'll get into later on. But for now, just kind of think of a uh, uh, anytime you want to use a variable, you need to use a dollar sign there. Um, you can give a variable any name you like. Um, so we'll name this my string. Um, variable names are case sensitive, so my string will be totally different than my string with a small s. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, and to uh, to initialize, initialize and declare this variable, we're going to go ahead and use an assignment operator, um, which is the equal sign on your keyboard. All an assignment operator does is assign whatever's on the right side of the equal sign into your variable. Also, um, well, let's do this first. Let's. This is my string. There we go. So, um, and the way this works is, it, it will take whatever's on the right of the equal sign first. Uh, that'll make more sense after you after we finish watching this video, but whatever's on the right will will be looked at first and that will be put into the variable. And so once we have a variable here we can echo my string. And notice when we echo the variable we don't need to use the uh, quotation marks because we already use quotation marks up here. Um, if you remember we only use quotation marks with strings and my string is not a string, it's a variable which has a string inside of it pretty much. So let's go ahead and save this and and uh, reload. There we go. So this is my string. And um, if you don't know why this would be useful, um, that will become more clear as we go along. So don't worry about that. Um, just kind of concentrate on how to create a variable. Um, once this variable is created, we can use that variable over and over and over again uh, without ever having to deal with this string directly. We can just call the variable. And when we do call the variable, we need to use that dollar sign uh, again. So um, another thing we could have done is is uh, gone way up to the top here, make another PHP script. Um, that didn't work out. There we go and that would have worked fine. So we could have uh, made a PHP script with our variable, closed the PHP script, uh, went along our way with some HTML, and then reopened a PHP script and then echoed, echoed out that variable. Um, so there you go. Um, and just to kind of show uh, kind of a real world example of where that would be really useful if we did uh, if we did something like um, uh, let's see a link or something if we did a link to go somewhere uh, dot com and then we um, and then we had a had a uh, hyperlink but we didn't know we didn't know yet what we wanted that link to be we could just echo out the variable right in line here so echo uh, my string. Uh, I hope that kind of made sense. I know that might be a little little weird, but but you can you can I inject that uh, variable right into your HTML anywhere you like. So there you go. And by when I said you don't, when I mentioned you might not know what this is yet, I just mean that maybe this variable is something that is dynamically created, which we'll learn about later. But maybe it's uh, maybe it's something that's dynamic dynamically created and your links will change based on uh, based on certain conditions or something like that so um, that's all I was hoping to illustrate with that another thing we could do with uh, with variables uh, strings in particular is uh, is we can use a concatenation operator and all that is is a period on your keyboard and we can add another string uh, concatenate another string onto this uh, string here. So this is my string. Isn't it great? Oops, great. There you go. So if we if we echo this out, um, 
echo my s string if we uh, echo that back out so so you can see we kind of added some more onto there with our concatenation operator which is just the period on the keyboard and we can do that again and again as many times as we want so we can add another um, another string so so now PHP is looking at all of this as one of one string so let's uh, reload that there you go and to show some practical uses of uh, when you would use a concatenation operator um, let's say we have another variable my other which is uh, this is a another string and what we could have done is just uh, concatenate this variable onto this string so we can go my other so now we have my string we're giving it the value of this is my string uh, and my other string which is this so let's go ahead and see what that does Oh, I forgot to put a space in there, but you can see these are two um, two strings that we concatenated together. And uh, that's going to do it for uh, this short video on strings and variables. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.